working on the second layer. So the middle layer is this layer. Your first layer should be completely soft. You have white and then all of these match and they also match the centers there. So this is what your cube will look like when it's all completed. There are three options we're going to see. So first of all, what we want to do is we're going to look on this edge down here. And if it's yellow, we don't want it because yellow is going to go down here. We need the green and the red, the red and the blue, the blue and the orange and the orange and the green. So I'm looking down here on this layer for one that is not yellow. So over here, I see one that's green and on the other side, it's red. So let's solve this one. So first of all, we're going to match this bottom to the center. So I like to hold the bottom and turn the top two layers. So this is green. So I'm going to turn the top two layers until it matches up and it makes a T. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so again, what was on the bottom? It's red. So first of all, we're going to move that piece away from the red side because we want to keep it safe. So we're going to turn the bottom away from the red. Now this was my red side right here. So we're going to bring the red side down and then we bring that bottom layer back up and the red side up. Now, what we did is we've now connected this piece with that. So we've knocked it out of place right here. So we're gonna rotate the cube like this. Notice I didn't turn any of the faces, just rotated the cube so we can look at it this way. So we're gonna turn this bottom again, just like what we did before, side down. This is the side where we want it to go to and then return the bottom and return the side. So now I have this still completed and now that green and red piece is in the way or in the right place. Now, sometimes you'll see the piece that's on this one. So where's our green and orange? So we're gonna look here. So this is yellow, we don't want it. This one's yellow, we don't want it. But over here, oh, we have green and orange. So again, we hold the bottom and we turn the top two, keep those together so it stays together till it makes that T. Now this time we're doing it with the orange, which is on this side right here. So we're gonna turn the bottom away from where it goes, away from the orange. And then we're gonna bring the orange side down, bring the bottom back and the side back. Now we've connected those two. So we rotate the cube without turning any of the faces so we can see that little white corner. And now it turns this way because we want it to go up here. We want to keep those together. So turn it this way, hit bottom. Now the side, return the bottom and then the side. And now we've got that green and orange one back into place and this is still correct. Now, sometimes you're gonna be super duper frustrated and you're gonna see that it's right here. It's in the right spot, but it's turned around. You just wanna like yank it out and flip it around, but we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is that piece we wanna move, we're gonna hold it so it's facing the front and it's on our right side right here. This is the piece we wanna take out. So we do the right side down, the bottom to the right. And what that does is it moves that piece right here. This is the piece we're trying to move. It moves it so it's safe, right? And then we go ahead and solve it. We go back up. And so now we rotate our cube and we can go this way, bottom side, bottom side. Now we've got that green and orange piece right over here, see? Oh, but it's orange and green and that's okay. So what are we gonna do? It's orange, so we wanna match it to the orange center. Hold the bottom, rotate the cube. What color's on the bottom? Green, which side is green? This side, so we turn the bottom away from green, green side down, bottom back, side back. Now they're connected, rotate the cube white squares over here so keep the white square within view see that's our white square right there we can still see it bottom side bottom side and when you do that you should be able to have your cube all finished like this on all four of those sides